Hello, hello all. My name is Saver Breen, the Earth School Shaman, and we're here to talk about the four helping spirits for the month of August of 2024. So they can assist you with both the challenges and the light components of each of the weeks so that we can harness the energy and also harness the opportunities that we have available to us so that we can evolve to our authentic medicine where we can truly live our medicine. So the four helping spirits that approached for the month of August was one, the Bass Spirit, which is basically asking us to flow with the changing tides. The Stick Bug, which is more about, let's talk about camouflage and what that holds for you. And three, the Moon Bear is, mm, the sun is just important as the moon, what's your fancy? And four is the Pig and Ivy. It's more of which poison are you willing to pick? Stay tuned for the full update. Welcome back everyone. So let's dive into these four helping spirits that we have available for the month of August. Now this first week of August is a very potent week because we have the Lion's Gate portal on the 8th of August. That being said, the best helping spirit has stepped forward and it approached in a way that it felt like it was going upstream, but it actually wasn't. It was in a pool, a swirling pool that was almost like an optical illusion. So the bass came forward with wisdom and knowledge. It's flow even if it looks like an optical illusion, actually feel it instead. So the shadow component to the bass spirit was this intuitive connection. The number seven came up for both the shadow and light. So which basically gave us this opportunity to say, both sides of the coin is available to all. Okay, so the shadow component is when things feel off, most likely it is off. And instead of stewing in our maybe toxic habits, or toxic beliefs, our, our ability to just um, I mean, ruminate on things, to actually settle in what the energy is bringing for us. Like just take a breath. And a new approach is needed to take action moving forward. So it's actually a choice to go against your habit of thought. So the shadow component is really this uh, sign of moodiness, maybe aggression, um, agitation. We may feel this within the shadow component and you may feel like you're in an illusion. You may feel like you are resisting something when in reality, you're, you're technically being put in a little bit of a timeout in this uh, rest place. And that rest place is literally designed for you to choose to approach differently. Not how you have been programmed or how you have been taught habitually to do something, but to choose based on your authentic nature. Now, the light component is really tapping on inner strength with the bass. The bass said to see the manipulation either in yourself, others, or in the world. And be courageous enough to take the initiative, even if you think it's difficult. So this has been a big component for August is the thinking versus the feeling. Because our thinking can create a lot of turmoil within ourselves and cause us to go in this stagnation in the illusion. And we want to feel instead. How do you actually feel in the moment? Um, and that's that inner strength. You're being asked to cultivate inner strength within yourself. And that isn't to point fingers at other people and say, this is why this is happening to me. It's more of why am I not allowing myself to see my own strength? Hmm. That is the light component to the shadow. Now the center, we always want to follow the, the center line, the golden thread between the shadow and the light. And that's a new phase and it's abundance. And the bass came up with recalibration. You know, these, these stagnation pieces, you know, the 8A portal is a really a, a new phase. We're, we're stepping into a new abundance. We're stepping into a new choice 
point for yourself. So do not let your uplifting energies be blocked by others unnecessary stress. Okay. So you get back into that stream and start to flow again, meaning you recognize that you're stewing in something or you're allowing other people's stress to put you in that stewing kind of phase to allow yourself to go into a new phase. And it takes a little bit of strength to get out of the stagnation pool and swim and rest in the flow of that stream. So some signs and symptoms for this first week of August is moodiness, uh, sensitivity, and like creative blocks. And that agitation, that agitation is, uh, is reminding you that you are putting ceilings and boxes on yourself. And it's your choice to <laughs> take the leap and jump out of that space and flow down the river. The second week of August is the stick bug. Uh, which was very clear um, about challenging the illusions. Um, life is full of illusions. And uh, many of us who've been on this path for a long time recognize that it's all an illusion. <laughs> and how you perceive life is how you will experience life. So the shadow component of the stick bug as a spirit helper is saying, when we choose to see through the illusion, we must be willing to accept the loving support that is underneath it all. And that support is there when we stop guarding ourselves. It's always there. There's Because there's a comfort in our drama, there's a comfort in our addictions, there's a comfort in our I mean, addictions as our, our stories, our repetitive stories of, you know, maybe why you want to lose weight or why you can't gain weight or why you can't do this or why you can't do that. Those are some form of addiction. We have an addiction to our dramas because sometimes it feels more uh, safe in uh, our chaos than it does to allow joy and peace to happen. This will come up later in the month. So the shadow component is really protection can actually harm us. Protection where we can create such a, such a guarded self that we don't allow any room for us to really experience what is beyond the illusion and the support and love that is underneath it all and allow ourselves to be in it and to express with it and to create with it. Now, the light component with the stick bug was the worst is yet is, is behind you. The worst is done. If you really think about it, everything that's happened, you're like, that is all over. It's done. The worst is now behind you. Don't fall prey to your victim stories. Okay. So the light is really asking you to learn from the outcomes of your past experiences, meaning what we call live your medicine. We have to draw the medicine out of the situation. We don't want to stick in our, you know, take our stick bug and peg it into, you know, the, the different points of the story that you are still wounded by. We want to allow ourselves to learn from the life situations and then take a pause just take a pause before actions so that you can make sure that you are moving from an authentic feeling rather than the victim or the, the, I need to have something like the give and take and all of those things. We need to make sure that we are pausing and taking a breath before we move forward, um, with that next action so that we can move in our light and not so much in our toxic shadow. So the center of the stip bug was very clear. He was like, get over yourself, <laughs> quite frankly, very bluntly. And it's give yourself permission to play. Just for a moment, you can't see the forest through the trees. Therefore, we need to just take a breath, get over yourself for a moment, go have a uh, fun, joyful experience and so that you can receive clarity on the situation that maybe you were getting victim-y about, okay? It's create an environment of beauty so that that joy can be nurtured. And you can actually enjoy the fruits of your labor rather than sitting there and being like, I should enjoy this, but I'm just gonna sit here because I'm not gonna allow myself to enjoy. 
to enjoy life and the fruits that have uh, that you have created your entire life so we learn from our past experiences just draw the medicine out of it so that we can uh, challenge through those illusions and find uh, the medicine that has been there within us. So remember, life is full of illusions. It's your choice at the end of the day how you're going to perceive it. The third week of August is the spirit helper of the moon bear. Now, this is about honoring the vision quest. Now, you can tell up to this point from the Lionsgate portal all the way up to the third week of August that a lot has been stewing and a lot has been... Um, challenged within you. So the moon bear is about play in opposites or extremes to find what strums your authenticity. So the shadow component of the moon bear is gratitude or greed. We'll have, we all have a spiritual power. We all have a medicine, right? Spiritual power is what I call living your medicine. Okay. Synergy now is what's being called upon with the moon bear. And can you trust yourself enough to work from the heart to serve the greater good? Or can you trust yourself enough that where you're coming from is, uh, is what you value and is what is, is what is a virtue for you? And, you know, watch your excuses, watch the memories and the fears that come to the surface because the shadow is uh, inflating emotions, fears, to really ask you, are you ready to be truly who you are? And are we really afraid of being who we are? Because that's actually so much easier to be true than to wear dozens of masks for all the different people and situations that we live in throughout our lives. Okay. Um, so is it true gratitude or are we leaning more into greed? These are questions we want to ask ourselves. So the light component to the moon bear is there is protection in the heart path. So the previous week we talked about that when we are so guarded, we don't allow ourselves to be open hearted. Where in reality, the light component to this moon bear is that when we follow a heart path or the red road or um, our, our authentic medicine, that in itself is protection because nobody can take that away from you. And that is such a, uh, it's, it's a freeing feeling is the only way I can describe it. And it, the moon bear specifically said that with healthy boundaries, flexible thinking, changing and challenging your habits, um, and a very light heart, you will see the resilience within you, right? This is a give yourself credit kind of week. <laughs> Take the load off of your back and chill out for a moment because uh, we can kind of, we can be kind of tough on ourselves a lot. A lot of people that I work with are very, very hard on themselves. So when we are overwhelmed, so the for the light, <laughs> this can be an overwhelming week. So when you feel overwhelmed, you want to distance yourself with the intention to regain authentic, an authentic viewpoint and then to recharge and then re-enter re the situation. So we don't want to um, get overwhelmed, flip out, right? And just don't do anything about it. We want to feel the overwhelm, allow the overwhelm to happen by distancing and bringing yourself back down to a grounded state, a regulated state, however you want to do. But you always have to have the intention that I have to re-enter this situation again and um, come from an authentic place. And sometimes that means we're not saying anything. Sometimes that means we do need to set some boundaries. Sometimes that means that we need to walk away completely. It completely and utterly depends on your situation, all right? So the center for the moon bear was when it feels as if your efforts are, you're losing your efforts or you feel like you're at a standstill, release all emotional burdens, okay, to find harmony again. So this is 
a big month for us to uncover the illusions and these heavy burdens, these heavy emotional baggages that we have that are just kind of under the radar. They're just kind of humming there. And when we hit overwhelm, like they all come to the surface and we can't make heads or tails of it. So each week of August is really asking us to kind of bring these bags to the surface and start releasing them, bring them to the surface, start releasing them. Because when or the only way or one of the ways, let's say there's not only one way, but one of the ways to release emotional burdens is to really acknowledge it. OK, this has been a, a, an emotional reaction to make myself feel safe or for me to feel accepted or for me to feel um, loved. Right. And because I have maybe have not received these or maybe because um you have to fight to receive these. It creates emotional like layers upon layers and they're very heavy and they, and they can hurt. So when we hit overwhelm, it's like, you know, you're kind of cracking open the egg and, and everything's just all over the place, okay? So we just want to acknowledge them for what they are and then release them. That was the whole point of giving yourself distance and realizing that we do follow our heart path. We are really protected we are we are we could say divinely protected we can say spiritually protected um authenticity is the the highest power emotion uh vibration that we can be in okay so that is for the third week it's honor this vision quest because it's really about going deeper within yourself and, and honoring that space that, that heart path that medicine that wants to come to the surface okay the fourth and final week of August is uh, the pig and ivy. And it was pick your poison or uh, peace if you choose, right? So the shadow component of um, the pig and ivy was joy, laughter, fun. It's actually really contagious. Um, and it's, it's essentially the spark of life. It's, it's the spark of creation. When somebody starts laughing uncontrollably, you cannot help but smile or laugh. And it's almost, it's hard for you to keep it in. It's kind of like when a child does something they're not supposed to do, but it was really funny and they're laughing. You can't help but laugh. It, it's contagious. It is the spark of life. It's what makes every, it puts you completely in the present moment that is constantly moving, but it, it keeps you completely aware of what's happening right now. So do you deny joy is the real question. That shadow component of pig and ivy is do you really deny joy? Think about it. You know, what stories, situations happened to make you deny joy? joy. Okay. That's a heavy loaded question. However, this is the shadow component of the pig and ivy where they're really asking you, we are wired for boundless energy. We are wired. Uh, even science has proven that we can light up an entire city with just one person's energy. So when you really think about it, when we are tired more often than not, it's because one we have too many heavy emotional burdens. We're not grounding ourselves in coming into the present moment. And quite frankly, the shortcut is joy is contagious. You do something on the complete extreme opposite to bring yourself and distance yourself from what it is that is habitually happening where you continually deny joy. Okay, so what are your passions and what are your joys and are you denying them for yourself? That's a hefty question, okay? So the light component of the pig and ivy is complete renewal, if you allow it, okay? Again, this is all choice. And, you know, it's kind of like we all know people in our lives that are like, they have everything they ever wanted, but they just, they still can't be happy. Why can't they be happy? That's their choice at the end of the day. And we can say there's a lot of abuse and trauma and things that happen. And yes, do people choose those things on some level? Yes, and many levels, no. It all depends on the situation. So the light component is really asking us to, to 
fall into that complete renewal? Can you fall and allow yourselves to move through challenges in life with minimal effort? Mm. When we really master what I call the golden shadow, the, 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 I love the journey of the golden shadow every single year because it, we go through the process of really leaning into minimal effort because when we master the shadow, we just flow through life and we really do need to allow renewal. In order for us to do that, we need to witness ourselves. We need to witness ourselves in our illusions. We need to witness ourselves in our, our victim stories. We need to witness ourselves in these things so that we can be like, ha I know those. Aha, yeah, I see what you're doing there. And you can't escape from yourself anymore. And that is strength. That is courage. That is you honoring yourself. So the light with this complete renewal, if you allow it, is if it's hard, find where the burdens are. Are they in your emotions? Are they in the physical body? Um, are they in your energetics? Where is this heaviness that you feel? And it may be in all three, but however, the more you can pinpoint where they are, you can kind of start moving and slithering and tracking into those type of spaces. And it's time to cast away old thinking, just point blank. It's time to cast away old thinking this last week of August because your reality quite literally depends on your perspective. And we all know this to be true, especially those of us who have been on this journey for a long time. It has everything to do with how wide your perspective can be and how narrow it can be and how dangerous it can be on properly both sides most of the time. So it's more about what can you allow and what do you deny? So the center for the pig and ivy is um, what is your foundation now? So this last week of August, it's asking yourself, do I stand on a solid foundation? You know, how I usually uh, teach like, through Livia Medicine is, you know, what do you value? These are the pillars that you stand on in your life. What is the foundation that you stand on now? Not what you stood on, you know, 20 years ago. What do you stand on now? Okay. And be okay with boredom. Ooh, people hate to be bored. <laughs> There's actually a study now. There was a beautiful TED talk on it. I'll try to list it below. There's a beautiful TED talk on the science behind boredom. And the brain actually solves age old problems with boredom. We live in a day and age where we're constantly instant gratification. If we have a question, we just Google it. There's no pondering anymore. Um, when we're bored, we're just doom scrolling on social media. We're doom scrolling on YouTube or all these places where we're not embracing boredom. You know, those of us that grew up without the internet or without, you know, a, a ton of electronics, we embraced boredom and we became extremely creative in every way, shape or form because we had to learn that way. And it's not a bad thing that, you know, one certain generations are, you know, okay with boredom and other generations are not okay with boredom. It is a new focus that in order for us to really drive forward and, and come to the conclusions of what we need to learn to be authentic in our lives, we need to embrace boredom. So the center of the pig and ivy, which I find is so funny, the, the, the pig is like, I, I, I like boredom. Yes, they encourage boredom because it heals so many parts of yourself when you allow your brain just focus on nothing because it takes more nutrients and brain power to switch and multitask, right? The world teaches you that it's really good to be a multitasker when in reality, it's actually really bad for your brain. <laughs> so the center of the pig and ivy is to really be okay with boredom and to really challenge yourself on what is your foundation now? And, and to think on that, be bored and allow your, your mind to solve the problems that have been plaguing you for decades. So I hope you guys enjoy the four helping spirits for the month of August. Um, they are in progression for sure, as I always come across that way with the four, uh, what do we got? 
we got the bass, we got the stick bug, we have the moon bear and the pig and ivy. So here we're here to help you live your medicine the most authentic way. It can feel a little yucky at times. It can feel very challenging, but I can promise you that the more you can cultivate curiosity and the more you can cultivate that inner strength within yourself and a lot of laughter and a lot of joy, you will find your authentic nature. I will see you guys next month for the monthly update. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or email me below. We'll keep this channel moving and I will see you guys next month.